everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in I know it's been such a long time since I last did a YouTube video but guess what today is the day today we are going to create this makeup look so if you like what you see then continue on watching and thank you so much for watching my videos all right for our first step I'm gonna go in with the Poor Professional by Benefit. This is my current favorite. Like when everything is done, it makes it look so nice and smooth and really, really just nice everywhere. For my foundation, I'm going to use the Revlon Color Stay and the combination Oily. And if you're wondering what shade am I, I'm 150. And I like to take almost two pumps. And I've probably bought like maybe 10 of those bottles. I know now that we look like freaks. Blend, blend, blend. For concealer, I'm going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair Beige. And I'm going to go with a damp, uh, different sponge. Alright, now that we're looking like a clown, we can blend, blend, blend. So I just like to grab a sponge and just like, just tap it. Don't sweep it just like tap it in so I really seem to like the formula of Tarte's shape tape but I just feel like it is so quick at drying out that's the one thing I just have the worried of all the time like oh make sure you blend it like right away because if you don't like it's gonna be so hard to try to blend it out all right time to set I'm going to go in with the NYX Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder, and it looks like this, if you can see. And this thing, I kid you not, it is the best thing that has ever happened to me. I love it so, so, so much. Like, it is the best thing. And just put a little bit in the cap and I'm going to go in. I'm going to first go in and smudge out all of those creases if anything has created already. I'm going to go in with this sponge here. Just grab a little bit and apply underneath of the eyes. Throw in my knee. I'm going to powder up my face so much you can't even see me. <laughs> gonna look more of a white ghost than what I already look like I take baking to the next level if you have not already noticed <laughs> okay so nip. I'm gonna let that sit in butter bronzer from the Vestigians and this is in the color light bronze this is just like a blush brush i bought i don't know where i got this so sorry just looks like a contour so i use it for contour not blush i just grab a little bit and then i tap the excess and i just go in to give a little bit more of light to my face because we looking pretty dead I'm not gonna lie put some in my forehead on the sides on the temples so basically what I'm doing here is I'm creating like a three so I make sure that this area is blended in with the next and I'll just it literally looks like a three. So one, two, and then three. 
I feel like this helps me like my face shape look a little bit more defined rather than just circular like I know I don't have a circular face but I do have like an ovally kind of shape face so this just helps it look a little bit more sharp and more like a model tees ABH cosmetics in the marble pink marble collection this is the number one brush so I'm gonna just sweep it up all right so for so for blush I'm gonna use the T Rose powder blush and this is from Milani I'm gonna go in with my Luxie 522 tapered highlight but I actually use it for blush because I feel like it is the most perfect and nice brush for the apples of my cheeks. I like to grab a little bit and then just like tap it to more like, it looks more natural I think. So now that I have to prime my eyelids, I'm gonna go in with that same setting powder that we use for underneath our to bake and I'm gonna go in with this super fluffy brush from a brush set I bought on Amazon for really really cheap Just grab. and I'm gonna go with the Maybelline Brow Precise micro crayon and so I like to go in and just point my eyebrows down first and then go in and carve out how I want them to look. Shade them in and then I like to smudge them out a little bit so that it doesn't look so like fake. There we go. Alright guys, so for today's palette we will be using the Modern Renaissance. I'm going to go in uh, and use Golden Golden it and I'm just gonna take a little bit and this is gonna be the base for a transition color this is gonna be our transition and I just like to go in a little bit tap the excess and work it around okay now that it's looking something like this we're gonna go in with burnt orange and I'm going to use that same brush and just just this shade here I tap the excess and just go right underneath of that transition shade we used earlier and just work it underneath if you need to get some more go ahead it looks so beautiful so 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 beautiful I'm gonna switch brushes I'm gonna go with the BH cosmetics in the number six shade I mean six brush I'm gonna go in with that same shade bring it down to the corner here and it's gonna look so so much better Okay, now that that is done, I'm going to go in with that same color, but I'm going to tap on the corner of my eyelid. Now I'm actually going to uh, use number seven, which means it's more like skinnier. 
so you can really get in the crease. I'm going to go in with real gar. I'm going to put it in the corner of my eye here. And this is just going to define the corner of the eyelid and I'm going to actually go ahead and bring it up a little bit so I have a more defined crease. Now I think I'm going to go ahead and do a cut crease, so I'm going to do that off camera and I will come back once I've done that. So I'm going to go in with a flat brush, something like this. Any flat brush would do. I'm going to go in with the Vega eyeshadow in M. I'm going to go in with Primavera or Primavera, whichever you want to pronounce. So I just sprayed my uh, brush with some water because you'll have better payoff. Now I'm gonna grab some of Real Gar, which is the orange here in the corner. It marries Primavera on the top. For our bottom lid, I'm going to go in with Raw Sienna, which is a different color, and go in and just blend, blend, this is going to be like the transition shade to the darker shade I will use, and with number seven the earlier one we were using and i'm gonna go in with red orchard which is this one apply on the outer corner of the lid i'm gonna go with number nine which is a pencil that looks kind of like this pretty flat with Vermeer, which is the most used up one <laughs> because I love that color so much and you do not know how much I like that thing. And then I'll go in the middle of my brow bone kind of. So I curled my eyelashes and I'm currently applying mascara. I'm using the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. I love, this is like my favorite mascara. Like, I go in and I buy and try to find new mascaras I can like and love. But this mascara just like has the key to my heart. Okay, time for highlight. I'm it is Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector pressed in the color opal. Ooh, look at that. That is so pigmented. So, so pretty. All right, for our last, last step, I'm going to go in with Kylie's um, matte liquid lipstick in the shade Kylo's which is this really like mauvey brown perfect shade alright guys this is the final product this is how it's going to look like Let me know what you would like to see next. If you would like to uh, see more makeup videos, I've been thinking of also doing a lot more vlogs. Um, just let me know what you guys are down to see. All right, guys, thank you so much, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.